Deepwater National Park is located about 100 kilometres north of Bundaberg on the Capricorn Coast. At Wreck Rock, you'll find 14 bush campsites, along with an amazing stretch of coastline far removed from the hustle and bustle. Well, we have made it to Wreck Rock, everybody. This is by far the dodgiest place I have driven into in a two-wheel two drive. If you are driving in on the two-wheel drive track coming from the south into Deepwater National Park, be sure that you have good high clearance on your vehicle. All right, let's get set up, shall we? It is so nice and peaceful here. Can you hear the ocean? We've managed to get out here nice and early and set up camp before the heat of the day, which is really lovely. That drive in was pretty wild. It was, you know, uns it was unsealed road, which was fine, but I nearly had a head on with a four wheel drive coming the other way because he just tore around this corner on my side of the road, had no idea I was there completely freaked out he nearly lost his lollies and flipped his four-wheel drive trying to get onto the other side of the road what an absolute tosser <laughs> anyway we're here now i would recommend having a high clearance vehicle to come in here i'll take you through a walk soon and show you some of the tracks where you need to drive through um it'd be pretty rough if you're in a sedan <laughs> I was worried about in my car it's two-wheel drive but it's got decent clearance but i love this camp spot it's got banksia trees growing here we've got palms eucalypts it's absolutely beautiful i really hope we see some nice wildlife here too let's go and have a look around shall we Oh my goodness, you guys. This is incredible. Just so beautiful. I don't know what this is. I'd love to know what it is. It's all over the beach here. Some sort of plant, I think. Some sort of coral packs, seaweed. A lot of it. Let's head up around the point here. I saw something really interesting from out on the headland just there. Pretty cool. You can see they got a little bit more serious with this one. They've even latched it together at the top with some rope. Let's go check it out. Oh yes. This would do just fine, for, I reckon, for an overnighter. <laughs> and this is your view.
All right, let's head back up and out of this heat for a while until the cooler part of the afternoon. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna turn this off. And can you see all the bees? They're coming in for the water. I had to share my shower with the bees. <laughs> How cool was that? Guys, time for a cup of tea, I reckon. Let's get the billy on the boil. So guys, don't. I just recently got the new DJI Osmo Action 5 and I'm yet to get a tripod for it that fits the mount. And I just have to show you how I'm improvising today. Ta-da! The trusty paper towel. It's coming in to save my ass today. There you go, look at that. Perfect. All right, let's throw this cuffer on, hey? Honestly, this has been the most handy piece of kit that I have bought since I've started getting outdoors more and more. I use it constantly, whether it's for a day trip and we just want a cuffer on the go, or whether you're doing it overnight, or whether you're going camping. It just, it's just perfect. So, this is my little Ferno stove. It's pretty tiny. This is the stove part here. Lots of people use a zip boil. It's exactly the same thing. It's just cheaper. <laughs> a lot of places you go to, you can't actually have an open fire. Here I can, but it's the middle of the day and I'm not lighting it for a cup of tea. So then I'd have to sit and watch it all of the time and I don't want to do that. I want to spend my time enjoying this magical place, maybe taking some photographs this afternoon. The one thing that I always forget to do when I'm using this little pot is to pull those handles out. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times and they've been burnt. They're still going. It also has this handy little foot that you can put on the bottom to keep it more stable when you're using a larger pot or pan, which is really cool. There's a really nice breeze here. I was worried about being set back from the beach, whether it would be hot, but it's actually really beautiful and I've managed to pop my tent underneath a palm tree and a banksia so the biggest thing that could fall on me would be banksia flowers which um is not too much of a drama I just didn't want to camp under some of these big eucalypts I'll show you those soon um, if they were to drop a limb you'd be in serious trouble I reckon especially in my little one person tent Look at this bark. Such beautiful old twisted trees through here. Absolutely amazing. Whilst I sat and enjoyed my cup of tea, I had so many insects visit. I don't know whether it's this shirt that I'm wearing or whether it's just the area, but they seem to be attracted to it. So I had two different um, variations of native bees come to visit and land on me. And then I had this other little fly that I'd never seen before, which was really cool. Tried to get video of it. I don't know if it worked. Um, butterflies, there's just so many insects here and none of them are bitey as yet. Holy heck you guys, miracles will never cease. The first pit toilets I have been to for quite some time that do not smell. Winning. This kind of raw foreshore area just really excites me. It's so beautiful to see the bush so healthy right up until the sea and not interfered with. You know, there's just so much development now along our coastlines that it's so beautiful to see it natural and thriving and to just be a part of that, even if it's just for a little while. The camping areas here are quite lovely. There's a lot of shade, which is just beautiful.
Okay. The tide is coming in now, so I've got this little opportunity to have a swim in this rock pool and I'm going to take it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just amazing. Might be able to stay here long because the tide's coming in, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. There's your view from the rock pool. See all the little rivulets, the little waterfalls coming down off of the rock. What a spot. It's pretty nice, eh? The waves are hitting the rocks and it's just causing these beautiful little waterfalls to flow in. Ah, oh, gorgeous. You guys, that was absolutely amazing. I couldn't swim there at low tide because there was another group in there and I really wanted to give them their space and enjoy it. So, absolutely amazing. Highly recommend visiting this spot when you come to Rec Rock, for sure. Look at that. It's like a living sculpture. Well, I skipped lunch today and had a little snack instead. So it means I'm cooking dinner early tonight. Oh my gosh, smells so good. It's gonna pop a little bit of feta in there. All right, we're just gonna throw on a couple of these little lamb chops. There you go, that's starting to look good. I... All right, I'm so hungry. This is lunch and dinner. So this meal is actually borrowed from Scotty at Scotty's Gone Walkabouts, who actually borrowed this meal from Xander Wilmont on his channel. And this is my own version because they usually they make a calzone with their Turkish, um, their naan bread. But I'm not going to do that. Mine's going to be deconstructed <laughs> because I'm, I'm so hungry. I just want to eat and enjoy it. Mmm. And it's so good. Definitely recommend. I will catch you after dinner. Well, dinner was amazing. I'm just gonna head down to the beach now to watch the sunset. So I've got to admit, I was actually a little nervous coming to this place alone. 
it's kind of isolated it's out in the middle of nowhere but as I've arrived and as I've talked to people here and there have been people here everyone has just been so friendly and welcoming it's um it's been a wonderful experience actually really empowering the afternoon light is just so much kinder on the eye You can really breathe out here, hey? I'm looking forward to one day soon being able to see the sun set over the ocean. Well, he'd need to head out to the islands for that. Or, of course, we can head across to WA. <laughs> it's just beautiful, though, to see the light on the waves, the golden light on the waves this time of the day. It just hits a whole different way. There's a couple of eagles as well um, circling around out here looking for food before the sun sets. I've been watching them but I haven't been able to get a good photo. I keep missing them, they keep flying overhead. I'm too busy looking at everything around me. So glad I can share this with you guys. Missing Don though, really looking forward to seeing him again. My goodness, the kangaroo has just come down to the dunes. Can you guys see it? He's a big one. Definitely got a couple of turkeys nesting for the night. Just around my tent. There's one there. And you can see another there just in the fork of that tree. It's just flowing up there. Hey mate. I have so many different favorite times of the day when camping. This is another one of them. When the sun has just set, you light your fire, the smoke hits you in the eyes and you can't breathe. It's the law of campfires though, isn't it? As soon as you sit around it, the smoke follows you around the fire. If you haven't experienced that, then I don't really know what to say. Have you truly been camping? Those scrub turkeys are both nesting in the tree just behind my tent, so thank goodness I wear earplugs <laughs> at night time. They make the weirdest noises at night. If I don't get to see you later, good night everybody. See you in the morning. This is worth getting up at 4.30 a.m., right?
Well, that was definitely worth it, right? Good morning, everybody. I actually had a pretty good sleep last night. <clears throat> the sun has risen now, but it's still very, very quiet here. It's a beautiful time of the morning. Those turkeys didn't give me any trouble overnight, which was lovely. So the plan for today is that um, I'll pack up camp quite early to have some brekkie first obviously pack up camp head further north meet Don and then we will plan our next adventure together Yum, it's really good. All right, so I've just got to say the wildlife here is very different to what I've experienced at other campsites. So there are insects here, many, many insects, including flies, but they do not go on your food. I've had no influx of flies when I've been cooking. And even like I've got bacon just laying here on the table and there's nothing on it, no flies at all. There are also mosquitoes, like I've seen one or two mosquitoes, but they have not bitten, which is just really weird. <laughs> and then the um, the scrub turkeys and the goannas also don't come looking for food, which tells me that probably most of the campers here don't feed the wildlife because they're not actually not expecting to be fed, which is quite refreshing actually because they're happy to just be around they're not trying to get into your tent they're not trying to get into your food boxes <laughs> that but they're happy to be around which is just amazing same with um i saw a very healthy goanna yesterday <clears throat> and um he was also a little bit timid and afraid whereas i've been in other places and the goannas are like in your campsite <laughs> you know trying to get into things so all right, it's time to pack up camp. Let's go. I found this really cool bug on my tent when I was packing up. Check it out. All right, camp's all packed up. It's time to hit the road. Let's go. Get a load of this. This is the creek crossing at Deepwater Creek. Water right up beside the road. Deep tea tree colour. Surrounded by paper barks. Isn't it absolutely magnificent? And you can hear the fish jumping in the water. What a haven for wildlife. Absolutely amazing. 
Thanks so much for joining me on the camp out and explore at Rec Rock. It was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend checking it out. I'm looking forward to taking Don back there. There's so many amazing parts that I just really want to show him. Just the serenity of that place is absolutely amazing and just so relaxed, absolutely beautiful. And, I mean, you've got creeks like this around. The wildlife is abundant. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to our channel. It'd really be appreciated. Also, if you could drop a like and a comment down below, that'll really help us out. We love to hear your feedback about these amazing places. Please get involved in the conversation. We love having you along for our adventures. All right, it's time for me to head north now to Rocky and catch up with Don. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.